All right, y'all, today I want to talk about something that I think is very important, and that is how to not FOMO into a trade, how to become profitable in the trades that you take, and also how to find good trade entries. Because I think a lot of times, unfortunately, what people do is they're hesitant to get into the market. And then they see something like this, where we get this massive pump, and they're like, all right, we're going up. It's time to go long. And so they enter a long position right here, and they think we're going up. But what happens? What happens? We don't come up. In fact, we come down. We come down immediately, right away. Then we come up a little bit, and then we come down even more. And this trade probably would have gotten stopped out, right? We came down below the one hour, uh, 21 EMA. And then let's say they're like, okay, well, now it's time to get back in. You know, we come back in and we're just trading sideways. You're getting sliced up. This is not the way to trade. What I want to talk about in this video is how to avoid finding yourself in a situation where you're losing money, chasing the market. The price goes up, you go long. The price goes down, you go short. And here are the steps. These are the steps to avoid that situation that I just described. The number one and most important thing is... You need to have a plan. Before the price moves, you need to already have a plan of what you want to do. Now, this does take some work. This takes some work of you analyzing a chart and thinking to yourself, I would like to see X, Y, and Z happen. And if X, Y, and Z does happen, this is the trade I will take. Prime example of that is yesterday. Yesterday, I posted this trade in my Discord. It was a short trade. And I was looking at the price action, and I was doing some ana analysis, and I was saying, I think we're going to come down. If we come up above this level and then lose that level with bearish divergences, I will enter a short position. This will be my entry. This will be my final take profit, okay? What happens? That exact thing does happen. We enter the trade, and we start to come down a little bit. We start to come down. We start to come down a little bit more. And um, and then eventually, you know, that we stopped coming down, the trade ended, right? We took our profits and we got out of that trade. But th this is what's important. You need to have a plan so that you know before the price even moves, what is your entry, what is your exit, where is your stop loss, where are your take profit levels. That's very important. If you're just waiting for price to start moving, right? If like, for example, that, that short that I took yesterday, that was this short right here, okay? It was not a bad move. It was like a 3% move. Of course, right after that, right, we have a massive 7% pump. We have a massive 7% pump. And yeah, I, I missed that trade. I did not get in on that specific long. It's actually not a big deal because I'm actually long from way down here. I'm long from way down here. So my, my swing long position is currently up right now about... 19%, about 19%. But my point here is you have to have a plan before the price moves, okay? Now, number two, if you miss the move, you miss the move. Instead of trying to, if you see a massive pump like this, instead of trying to get in on a chunk of that action, instead what you need to do is step away, step away from clicking that buy button and you need to do some analysis. You need to do some analysis to determine where is your next trade entry going to be. You already missed the move. Don't harp on the fact that you missed the move. Don't think, is the move going to keep going? I don't know. Because the truth is, you don't know. You don't know how high this move is going to go. And I'll say 9 times out of 10, the very act of you pushing that buy button right at the top of this candle will make price trade sideways and dump. You want to have a very calculated approach to this. You want to have a very calculated approach to your trading. And if you're letting emotions move you, if you're letting big candles move you, you absolutely are going to get wrecked. And so what you need to do is, if you miss the move, have another plan. Come up with another plan. Like, for example, right now, right now, I missed that pump. So what should I do? I should look for another trade entry. How do I do that? Well, I'm going to be marking levels on my chart. I have some levels right here of support and resistance on my chart. 
I'm noticing something, which is, you know, as we're coming up to a resistance, we put in high, we put in a higher high, and then we put in a lower high. I can see over time on the one hour time frame that we are putting in bearish divergences. And so potentially I have my entry right here. Potentially I have a short entry right here. Of course, I'd have to go through my list of confirmations to see if this is a valid short entry. But, you know, you need to you need to learn some technical analysis and you need to be able to do that. And if this is something you don't know, if you don't know how to do technical analysis and you want to know, check out jasoncaspertrading.com. This is the course that I do. This is everything I wish I knew before I started trading where I walk you through step by step the information you need to know in order to start finding those good trade entries. How to become a confident trader so that you're not flopping and groping. So we go through all the TA. You can check out the testimonials that you need to know. We go through support and resistance. This is assuming you've never even looked at a chart before. If you're a complete beginner, support and resistance, trend lines, channels, top-down analysis, moving averages, finding confluence, Fibonacci, volume, all that stuff. We go through market cipher in extreme detail. Teach you how to create a strategy, even give you good strategies that I already use, including the strategy that I used to take this short yesterday including the strategy that I used to take uh, this this long. Uh, where was that long? I can't find it now. But all these trades that I post in the Discord here, this is the strategy that I use. Where, like For example, I had a strategy in place. I was waiting for it to happen. When it did happen, I entered the trade. It was a profitable, a profitable trade. Um... And by the way, if you want to um, get into this Discord, you can do that by becoming a Patreon at patreon.com forward slash Jason Casper. This is the course. There's a discount in the description. But yeah, basically, if you miss a move, it's time then to come up with a plan for the next move. So really, you know, you missed this long. Not a big deal. You could have gotten three little scalp shorts right off of this line right here. Three little scalp shorts right off of this line. You know, you the, 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 another trade will be out there. Step three to becoming to becoming profitable, not FOMOing, is you need to lock in your profits, okay? This is very important. Yesterday, when I was shorting from a level, I think it was a FIB level. I was shorting from a FIB level. Let me show you exactly the level I was shorting from yesterday. I pulled my good old FIB retracement tool from this swing high to this swing low, and I was shorting this right up here as we were rejecting for the second time off the FIB level. Now, in, if, if I had just entered this trade like this, short position, entering as we lost the 618, stop loss above the last swing high, set my take profit. My final take profit, guys, was all the way down. Um, my final take profit was down here. My final take profit was 31.3. Okay, that was my final take profit, 31.3, right around here. Okay, we got about halfway there. If I had just left this trade ride without taking any profits or locking in profit, I would have gotten stopped out for a loss. So instead, what it's very important to do is as you are in a trade, you need to take profit out of that trade as the trade goes, okay? When we come to an area where you historically see support and resistance. Like, for example, right here. In the past, we can see on the left, this was an, a level of resistance, a level of resistance, a level of support, a level of resistance. You need to take some of the profit out of that trade right here, okay? Maybe like 25 to even 50%, depending on the trade you're in, okay? Depending on the trade you're in, you need to go into Bybit and sell, if you're long, you need to sell a certain percentage of your contracts. If you're short, you need to buy a certain number of contracts in Bybit or Prime XBT or whatever you use. And um, then what you do after you have um, taken profit out of that trade, you need to move your stop loss either to your entry, either to your entry so that regardless of what happens now, this is a winning trade, or you move your stop loss to a point where if it gets stopped out, you're in, you know, basically break even, okay? If you do this on a consistent basis, you will be profitable, 
as long as you have a good strategy and, and you're waiting for your confirmations, we'll, we'll get into that later. But as long as you do this, you will be profitable. Nobody ever went broke taking profits. The gains will be slower. Okay, the reason the gains will be slower is because let's say I had left 100% of my trade in here and it worked out perfectly. I hit my final take profit. Well, that's a 6% move on my entire trade. However, however, I would have gotten stopped out of this trade in a loss. So my two options here, in hindsight, I know this, but in as we're entering the trade, we don't know what's going to happen. So my two options are I either need to make sure that I will never let a winning trade turn into a losing trade or I'm risking losing a trade. And if you can lock in that profit, you will be profitable because once you have a strategy down where you know, for example, for me, how, why did I enter this trade? It was it was just it was so obvious. We had a bearish divergence on the 1 hour as we're coming up to a 618 resistance. This was actually a trade signal that I gave on my public live stream because I just opened up my computer and I'm like, wow, look at this setup. And it was, an, it was a good trade, right? It was a profitable trade. But because I locked in the profits, because I had a strategy, I used the strategy, I locked in the profits, I had a plan, it was profitable for me and it was a green day. It was a green day for me. It was a day where I made money. And if you can get down locking in your profits you will consistently make profit over time, which will add up. And if you compound that, you can turn a small account into a large account. That's what you have to do. Step four is kind of in line with all this, but stick to your strategy. Stick to your strategy, right? I could have longed, when I saw this massive pumping candle, I could have longed and I could have made money. Okay, I could have longed and I could have made money. But I had no plan. I had no strategy for entering into this long position right here. I had no plan or strategy. I did have a plan and a strategy for entering into a long position way down here. Okay, I've been waiting for that for a long time. It was part of my plan. It was part of my strategy. But I don't have a strategy for if I'm in a short and all of a sudden we get a massive pump out of nowhere on a weekend. I don't have a strategy for longing that. So if I had come into this trade right here, I would have not been sticking to my strategy. Very potentially could have gotten stopped out because because this happened really quick. I mean, this happened super quick. Even though this is the one hour candle, you know, on those lower time frames, it happened within a few minutes, that pump. So, you know, if you don't have a strategy in place for entering a certain position, do not enter that position. Do not enter that position. Instead, instead, strategize and look for the next trade entry. Now, a few things to note. It's important to focus primarily on buying low and selling high. Okay, if you see the price is going up high, it's not a good time to buy. If you if you see prices going down low, it's not a good time to short. The reason for that is look, as we're coming down, you have no way to know where the bottom is. And if you think, oh, we're just going down forever, when you enter that trade, well, what do you know? We come back up. And the opposite is true. We're going up, 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 oh, we're going up forever, just kidding, boom, we come down. If you wait for price to come to a place, a support or resistance level which in which you have a reference point to enter the trade, that will help you a lot. So let's just put on, for example, some daily levels of support and resistance, okay? This gives us now a structure, a framework from which we can enter our trades. And notice what happens. Selling high and buying low tends to be the best trade entries, right? course right here you say oh you know if I had, if I had sold high I would have lost that's true you would have lost but that's because we have to make sure we're using all our confirmations but in general in general you want to be shorting high prices and longing low prices if you see price shooting up definitely not a good time to buy right if you see price dropping way down definitely not a good time to sell um, if you want to short a support because a lot of people you know want to trade as we're breaking support like for example this daily level we broke below it it would have been a great place to enter a short well the only place you should be entering a short if you're trading with the trend if you're trading the breakdown or the breakout of a support and resistance the safe way to do that is wait for a back test so we lose the support we come back up to try and reclaim this resistance as our support again and are unable to as we lose it the second time. That's where you want to 
enter the trade. You don't just want to enter because we're losing a support, okay? Because if you enter just because we're losing support and you don't wait for that back test, you very well could get stopped out. But see here, we get the back test and then we continue on down. That's the way, and, and, and the same is true for longing a breakout. If you long a breakout and you don't wait for a back test, well, what do you know? We, we fall back under. But if we had seen something like this where we come down and we come back up, that's where you would want to long that breakout. Um, like right now, we've had a break of this daily level. We haven't had a retest. And yeah, of course, we could just keep going up forever. And that's fine. That's fine because I have levels up higher where I'm looking to short from. But I'm already thinking about the next trade that I can make. I'm not going to dwell on the fact that I missed out on this move. I'm thinking about the next trade I could take. And one of those levels is actually right where we're at right now. Right where we are at right now. So I also recommend, um, you know, if, if let's say you're newer to trading and, um, and you want to uh, have like a good strategy to start out with, check out my YouTube channel. I have a lot of strategies on my channel. If you go to the Jason Casper YouTube channel, actually just go to videos, check out this video right here uh, called uh, How to Trade Elon Musk Tweets. Okay, in this, in this video I, I show you guys how I shorted right here and longed right here. Literally, I, I, you know, how, how did I use Market Cipher and my strategy to short this resistance and long this support and really short the top and long the bottom? It'll walk you through step by step. Um, also, I do recommend if you're new, if you're new to trading, right, we're, we're in some volatile times, take a trading course, right? Learn how to do this the right way. This is a skill that you will develop over time. It can be very freeing for you where you can make money from anywhere in the world. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter your status, your social status, anything like that. As long as you have a laptop or a cell phone and an internet connection, you can make money doing this. So learn how to do it. You don't have to take my course, although there obviously it's my course, so I, I recommend it. There's a discount in the description of the video. But um, take a course. Learn how to do this the right way. Learn how to do it the right way. Even for those of us who have been trading for a while, it's always so tempting to FOMO into trades. And it's tempting to deviate from our strategy. And it's tempting to get greedy and not lock in profit. So this is just a reminder to myself and to others. You know, if you're new or been trading for a while, you know, remember, stick to your strategy, lock in your profits, and you'll be all right. You'll be all right. All right, guys. That's it for today's video. Just wanted to make a quick one. God bless. And uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.